What's good, uh? guys? So today I have like a, a tech vid, I guess you can say. Um, a fix, I guess you can say. So I'm I'm here to like talk about. This is for um PC players. So if you're not a PC player, um, I'm sorry, but this part isn't a video for you. But look. So a while back, I have like a story time. You guys might be able to relate to this. So I'll just, just wait, just wait for me. Um, I remember one day just um, hopping on my PC and playing Modern Warfare. So, oh, actually it was Rocket League, it was Rocket League. So I was playing Rocket League and for some reason, loading times were slow. Um, I would load into a game and then it would take like a minute at least. And when I load into that game, I get kicked for inactivity for, from being in the game. I would load back in and then right when, right when the game would start, I would lag like shit. And it would take like a few seconds for me to get back to normal and I could start playing again. And this happened every time I loaded into a game. So it was on Steam because I'm an OG like that. So I deleted it off Steam and then I went to Epic Games and I downloaded it on there and then everything fixed. So after that, I went to Fortnite, and for some reason, bro, I'm literally stuttering, lagging, everything. My ping is literally at 20 something, and I should be at 150, 170. And I don't know what it is. I'm literally like, I don't know. So I, I push that aside. I hop on Modern Warfare, and then the same fucking thing. I'm literally at 20 FPS, lagging like shit. I'm getting, look, these are the logos I'm getting. I'm getting packet lost. I'm getting high latency. I'm getting latency variations. And a logo that I don't even see on here that I'm reading off the picture. I do some more research and I have noticed that it's like a triangle with like a circle around it. So I do some research and it's called extrapolation. So I go on YouTube, right? I go on YouTube and I find literally no tutorials about extrapolation that I see here. I'm getting packet burst, extrapolation, high latency, and latency variation. These are the things I'm getting. And extrapolation means mean, meaning is not clear. Like there's no fucking meaning for it. It's most likely means that the stim that the simulation of the client differs from the simulation of the server, such as usually affected by FPS stalls, which I was getting, high latency variation and bandwidth issues, which I was getting. So I don't know what the problem was. I did research on it and it literally just gave me uh, PC optimizers, CPU optimizers, all this bullshit that I didn't really need. Ping optimizers, which obviously wasn't helping because nothing was changing. So I went into the files, uh, the Modern Warfare files and then the Epic Games files. I deleted Battle.net. I deleted Modern Warfare. I deleted Epic Games. I deleted Fortnite. And once I reinstalled everything, it all came back to normal it was all good and then like later on in the day the shit came back so i got to the point where i was mad i, I didn't have nothing to do um i went into task manager let me bring it up right here literally everything was good well there was like some high cpu usage in here and there literally everything was everything looked fine besides a few little things but i didn't think no, nothing of it you know i I cleared out cache from here, which some videos told me to do. It worked for a little bit, but then it went back to shit. I op I literally optimized my whole PC. Look. Oh, shit, I spelled that wrong. Ooh, Esau right here. Esau. Bro, what the f- I can't spell. Oh my gosh. Right here. I literally changed my power mode. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Additional power settings right here. I went to high performance, fair performance, but may use more energy. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't care. I literally changed everything. I thought it was my um, internet. I got a new ethernet cable. I got, what else did I do? It's pretty much, I got a new ethernet cable. I'm, I'm literally right next to my router. I do a uh, speed test. Stay with me guys, stay with me. It's a little, it's a fix. I'm just giving you all a story real quick. Yeah, I might be able to see my, uh, where I live, I don't know. I'm literally at 400 download and then 24 upload. So that's that. So it can't be my internet, my hardware. I literally, bro, I took out my GPU. I took out my, my uh, RAM sticks. I cleaned that, I blew on them. I checked my motherboard. 
I didn't take my CPU out because I, I don't have thermal paste. So if I take it off, then I would have to reapply it. So I didn't have none with me. I probably have to get some to be honest. Um, but yeah, like literally none of this was the problem. I literally checked my BIOS, checked the BIOS update. Nothing like nothing fixed it. Um, I checked GeForce Experience. My drivers were up to date. Like, bro, like nothing changed. I went to NVIDIA Control Panel. I literally tried to mess with everything. Manage 3D settings. I literally messed with all of these. Change resolution. I went down to 60 hertz. But you can't, I, I can't even go down. What the hell? But yeah, I went to 144 hertz. I'm still at 144. I don't trust it. Um, I literally changed so much shit. I went to full screen. 1600. Why is... What the fuck is this? What was that? But yeah, 60 hertz right here. So, I don't know what it was. I had no idea. So, what I ended up doing was I ended up wiping out, wiping out my whole PC. So, all this stuff, everything here was all cleaned out. It was deleted. So, I could go like, I could start from a fresh start. Because at first, I thought it was a virus that I had. So, I ended up wiping out my whole thing, everything. And I downloaded everything back that I didn't think was sus you know so i was also getting youtube videos about adware cleaners malware cleaners which i had literally no no viruses or nothing so that was a waste of time and i got to the point where i was just mad i was just messing with stuff so i went into task manager saw went to perform or i went to startup right here I made sure all of this was good. I literally disabled so much stuff in here, notifications, game center, which should always be uninstalled by the way, or disabled because it um, drops frames. I literally did a lot of frame boost shit on PC that you could think of, I literally went through every video and nothing helped. So I ended up going here to Dragon Center because I saw it, it was at startup. So it's not measured the impact. So I didn't, I was sus about it. Translucent taskbar is just makes your taskbar um, invisible. So that obviously didn't do shit to it. So Dragon Center right here. Now I had I had downloaded Dragon Center a while back. Fuck my guy. Why did I put download? So this is it right here. I don't know why it looks like this. It's by MSI. So I'm, I mean, I thought I could fucking trust it. I have a MSI graphics card. I have a MSI uh, motherboard. Like, bro, like, what, what was the problem? So you run this as an administrator, click yes, and this is what you get right here. So bef back then when I had my 2060 super, I uh, I enabled, what's it called? Gaming mode, I had this on and I had all these enabled. So these were the games I started getting issues with. Cold War, I didn't have it until, I didn't have no issues with it at all. This was off and Modern Warfare was on and Fortnite was on. And I'm pretty sure Rocket League was on here too, but I don't know. I wasn't getting that problem no more. Probably when Steam was on, it was on here, but now it wasn't since I switched to Epic Games. So I think that was the problem right there when I fixed it. Now, when I first started downloading this, I downloaded it for Mystic Light because I don't want my my graphic, my GPU uh, lights on or my RAMs. Because for some reason, I don't know if I'm the only one, but my RAM sticks, they like squeak when I, when they're on. Like you hear like a constant squeaking noise. It was light, but it, it annoyed the fuck out of me. So these two are off my lights. I, I just turned them off because just because. So this is the only reason why I had it downloaded. All right. So I went to gaming mode and then I turned this shit off. And this literally fixed everything. I'm back at my high FPS. I'm back at that. All, everything. Everything went back to normal. So I turned this off. Scenario. I kept I turned it off just because I, I didn't really I didn't want to mess with this. So one thing I would not do is mess with any of this shit. Gaming mode, leave that alone. Don't mess with it. User scenario, I, good luck. So this really, this application is helpful. I mean, it, it does all this shit, which other applications do easily. True color, this is the only thing I use. I put it on game. And land manager, this right here, I messed with it just for fun. And I started getting a lot of lag, so I wouldn't mess with this at all if you put in your speed right here upload 24 for some reason it'll like lower your stuff i don't know 
So don't mess with this at all either. This is literally all you should probably use it for. That's it. So this fixed it. Basically, I started getting my stuff back, my FPS. I wasn't getting no more lag. I wasn't getting packet burst. Well, listen, so when you play COD, I looked back at some clips when I when I used to play back then, my streams, and I, I noticed that I was already getting like the, the packet burst um, logos there, but nothing was changed. I didn't, I didn't feel nothing, nothing. So the high latency stopped, the latency variation. So unless, like I said, unless it is your Wi-Fi, and your dog chewed the fuck out of your ethernet cable or unless your wi-fi is dog shit and you fucking live two feet of two floors of fucking above your router then you shouldn't it shouldn't be nothing there it shouldn't be none of that it shouldn't be your internet it shouldn't be none of that shit it was this little fuck right here so if you guys are i'm um, seeing a lot of frame drops literally under 30 fps high latency high variation packet burst fucking what is this shit called again Hold on, I got a picture here. I just don't remember. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put the picture up when I edit this video. Extrapolation, bro. If you're getting that, and it was literally at red in Modern Warfare, so it was it was pretty bad. Um, if you're getting all that, and you have this shit downloaded, this is the reason why. I thought I could trust this fucking shit, but I obviously can't, bro. So I turned it off. I thought it was my uh. MSI afterburner because I overclocked my, my PC. I thought this was the problem. It wasn't. This is fine. So I could probably go back up to this. I'm just keeping it at, at low because I, I just don't feel safe anymore. Um, I also suggest you guys downloaded these. Uh, these don't have viruses or nothing, bro. It's, it's literally just uh, temperature. Uh, you just keep track of your shit. This is the CPU. Check your temperatures. Now, if these are high, it will show it red or like yellow. So these are all normal. Your sensors, you go to here, you can check your clock, which you overclocked it to, your fan speed, your GPU temperature, all that here. I'll, uh, I think I'll link this down below if you guys want to download it. Um, MSI have to burn it. This, I forgot what this does, but um, uh, how do you say? You can benchmark it. You can uh, stress test it and shit. Your CPU. So that's basically the fix. It's Dragon Center right here. So if you have this, just disable, just disable gaming mode. Really, um, user scenario. I would mess around with this if you want. I do, I just I don't trust it right now. Software control mode. I turned that off. Fan. I turned that off. I don't want this changing nothing in my on my computer because I have softwares for that already. I literally went into BIOS, nothing changed. I changed a lot of stuff in BIOS, nothing changed. It was all still lagging until Dragon Center. So that's pretty much the video right there. I hope I hope this helped you guys. And if it didn't, then there's other videos out there that um that maybe helped or that maybe can help you. Um maybe yours isn't as bad as mine was. So that's probably where you know we differentiate. But um, I just saw no videos on this, on extrapolation. It's literally there, and I see nothing on there but random other shit. So hopefully, if you got this logo, I didn't even know what it meant when I saw it. I just, because I didn't, I didn't see nothing about it, so I had to search it up. Um, So if you're getting literally under 30 FPS, it's not under 60, under above 50, it's literally under 30 or 40 it's literally not even at 60 anymore it was that bad if you're getting that if you're getting like, like crazy stutters and packet burst um extrapolation high latency latency variation these logos were all red for me um hopefully this helped you guys if, you, if it didn't then That's tough. i can't help you there buddy um, there is other videos out there that will help you. I don't, I just, I don't know. This works. So since I saw no video on this, I thought I'd make one. So hope you guys enjoyed the story time and, uh, double upload today for sure. I'm gonna upload another video later today. So thank you for watching. I love y'all and I'm gonna see y'all later.